call to order at, we'll say 6.16 p.m. And let's see, I gotta get back to the- The agenda. <laughs> the agenda. All right, so for the members present, we have Lily Dwight. Here. Ben Benson. Here. David Lawless. Sean Libby. Here. Kathy Sylvester. Here. And myself, Frank Leone. And I guess the first order is to approve the minutes of the last meeting. So do we want me to read those out loud or should we no, just- No, I, I move to accept the minutes as written. Okay. <clears throat> uh, one comment, my name is, is Lawless and I think it, my name appears in the minutes as Law, David Law. Oh, uh, okay. yes. All right, so you gotta amend that then. Really? Yes, indeed. I will actually amend them as we speak. Okay. So do we have a second for? Well, the, I, I uh, now I move to accept the minutes as amended. Oh, okay. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So we are supposed to, let's see, review the outreach notifications. So um, I went to the CCI, the Connecting Community Initiative, okay. and I talked about what we're doing and how we are actively seeking applications, and um, also that we anticipate some big ticket items, so people should, should, it would be very kind to us to get the applications in sooner rather than later. <laughs> Evidently, everybody ignored my pleas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not true. Senior housing submitted on Sunday night, but apparently nobody has gotten it. Okay. Um, so that was the outreach from um, CCI. I don't know. Did Alan do some other things? I don't know. Well, I posted on Facebook too actually okay um so and i'm happy to do that again i'll post in deerfield now unless somebody else wants to post anybody else here on deerfield now i am but i don't post very often i'll probably do it wrong <laughs> uh, i could probably do it right after this if yeah. we just want to shoot a link to the application correct um yep I just say you know applications being accepted now it's your money it's your town you got an uh, idea that you want to bring to life talk to us i have a question Lily. yeah uh, so i got you know your email with a link and i clicked on it and it says cpc senior housing 2023 final and it has all these documents but not the actual application but it has letters of support and i look it does them? the one of them is the application it is the um so <clears throat> the application and this is if anybody else who has a larger one you're gonna will experience this as well has like different questionnaires in it so the actual application is senior housing cpa app 2023 and then the answers to the general housing questionnaire are there i mean to the general questionnaire are there so there's a there's a general question there's the application there's a general questionnaire then there's an area specific questionnaire so for senior housing it's the community housing questionnaire and then there are supporting documents, um, you know, including all the stuff from um, from uh, consultants and things like that. I have tried, and a couple of letters of support, and there'll be some more letters of support probably for senior housing. And I have 
tried to put links to each of them inside the Senior Housing CPA app 2023. So if you open that okay. and you go to, do you want me to share my screen? Would that be useful or you Probably, all do? Yeah. Yes, all right. that would be great. Thank all you. Right, I will share my screen. Okay. You all I just literally sat before the meeting, so. Okay. I was looking quickly. <laughs> All right. No, understand. Um, I have to hide the floating meeting controls or I can't see it. So this is the entire application. This is the main CPA app. And when you click on that, you'll see this is like the standard stuff. This is what people will get. And um so you scroll on down, you scroll on down. And then here, there's actually starting to be the application form with the summary. Um, and then, oh, I should turn this into a link. This, I will do that later. So I'm glad we're doing this. But you can see where the general questionnaire, if you go here, this is a link to the actual doc itself with the answers because they're not really. And then here's the community housing questionnaire that's attached as well. So that is the main application. And I will go back and make a link to the other thing, but it has um, so the, the supporting document actually talks about the, the project, what we have done, um, because senior housing was given uh, CPA funding last year. So we reviewed what we did with that money. And um, I think, yeah, these are hot links to the uh, consultants that we hired. Um, and then we talk about what we need to do next. And um, there's a hot link to the actual proposal from the consultants that's also in that folder. <clears throat> and that and it talks about the site, sketches it out, has a timeline, which is so long it takes a few, you know, a few screens to get it. Um, there's letters of support. And here's that timeline all on its own, if anybody cares. So I'm thinking that we had talked about, I'm gonna, I can stop sharing my screen because I wanna go back to the, um, the agenda. Didn't we, we talked about when I looked at the minutes from last meeting, setting up, a repository for all applications, which would have been a lot easier if I had that and I just would have dragged all this stuff and then it's easier for us. But it occurred to me that perhaps it should be on the town website so that everybody can easily see it. So I actually wanted to um, ask uh, if people think that's a good idea, I would make a motion that um, we request the town to create a public folder on the website <clears throat> and put all of the applications there. Yes, I would second Great. that. People are voting on this. Yeah, I not only really think that's appropriate, I think they'll call us if we don't do it. Right. Well, they were never on, were they ever online before or did they? No, this is a good thing. And, you know, the just <laughs> slabs and slabs of paper for every application. <laughs> was an incredible waste. And uh, as you pointed out, there's there's like, like four different components of a CPC application. And usually any application only applies to one of them. So it's just a waste of a lot of paper. Yes. And confusing. Yeah. All right. So, um, so I move that Lily Le Le contact the town and ask them to set up a, uh, uh, repository for applications to be public on the website page for the CPC. Second. Great. All in favor. Aye. 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 
<laughs> that was a good idea too. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Well, so that was that was all I had to bring to the table. All right, and then do we have any applications currently to review? Well, we got the senior housing, but nobody's had a chance to read it yet. So, okay. all right. Well, then I guess we can save that one for the next meeting if we would like. I think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I haven't had a chance to read it yet either. Yeah, and it's big. Um, I'll just tell you, we've done a lot of work. We're we're really good at this. <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> um. But I, I will say, and it, this is important to know, and I'll, I'll say it when Alan's around too, that <clears throat> senior housing is looking at the whole municipal campus as a possible site. And so we are requesting from the architects up to three different sightings on that campus. You know, what makes sense? <clears throat> and I know Tim Hilchey is interested in possibly having senior housing connect to the former congregational church. And um, there's been talk about tearing down town hall and putting it there. So in order to do that, senior housing is assuming the costs of doing a lot of the campus work that would otherwise be separately assumed by the library, by the um, 1888 building project, and um, by the Congregational Church Project. And um, we're happy to do this because <clears throat> we have set aside a significant sum of money specifically for senior housing at town meeting 2021. We set aside <clears throat> 500,000 for senior housing. Plus we have other monies for that community housing generally. But um, And so it seems like we can be really helpful to the whole um, municipal campus initiative at the si same time doing what we need to do for senior housing and that's finding the best site for it that it fits into the community and everything like that so it, it did seem like worthwhile to explain that because <clears throat> it's a big amount of money that we're asking for the largest chunk is the architects surprise yeah. surprise <laughs> So that's it. <laughs> all right. Well, we will get it. We will all take it some time to look at that before our next meeting, then, because, like you said, it is a big one. And hopefully, we'll get some more applications in. Um, I know that the Historical Commission has got something. I can't, you know, I was at the last meeting, but my surgery was the next day. So I really didn't do the kind of attention pain that I should have. Um, but it's it's got something to do with tying in with the um, the anniversary celebrations this year, and um, I don't think it's going to be an outrageous amount. And John Nova's in charge, and I, I think it'll be a good one. He knows how to write applications. <laughs> Is there anything? Do you anticipate anything, Ben, about the um, the documents that the town wants um, his? Uh, the uh is it come to the ones that were or? that were stored in the um yeah, yeah. um apparently the mold issue is a lot less than it was reported to be and peter thomas is going to be helping to transfer them over pvma is going to be storing them and it seems like that's the right place to have it be okay. um and uh, i don't know the details about when they're going to be moved i'm hoping to be able to help with that but uh yeah, those oh, so they're, they're not going to be asking for any money. That's what I was kind of. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 don't quote me. Okay, I don't, I don't think so, but um, if if it is, I don't think it's much. Okay, because I think the 1888 building project is hitting the historic pot. So right, right. Well, then there's they're not the only people who are hitting the historic pot. Is the Tilton going to be applying? Does anybody have any ideas? No idea. I think that was part of the discussion at the special class, excuse me, last special town meeting, but I haven't heard anything more about it than that. Or by. Well, those are the big ones that I've heard, you know, at CCI. 
the congregational church potentially, but I don't know that they've got it together enough to figure out what that's going to be. I know they're applying for tons of grants too. So every little bit helps, right? <laughs> it really does. All right. Well, should I should I make a motion that we adjourn? Uh, does anybody else have anything else they want to talk about? When's our next meeting? Uh, next meeting is March eighth, so it's after our deadline. So I, I move that we adjourn. Second. All right. And all in favor of adjourning then. Aye. 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 Good meeting. Aye. Well run, Frank. <laughs> yes. So yeah, right. I guarantee you all my guests stayed longer for the next meeting, I'm sure then. <laughs>